Happy Halloween. Do you want to hear a scary story? I call this one the dispersion and confinement of combustible dust. Yeah! So what goes in this bad boy? What makes him explode? Something called like a podium powder. The magician would probably call it flash powder. Now, this is just a finely ground up pollen, but the pieces are very, very, very small. Tiny particulates that get blown up into the air. And that's what makes the difference. Like a podium powder on its own? Flammable, but not really. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it was that scary. But since the particle size is so small, once you blow it up into the air, a lot more oxygen can get to it and it undergoes rapid combustion. So what you're seeing right here is me just blowing the lycopodium powder onto a open candle. Again, notice that the particulates are in the air and then once they hit that flame, boom, up they all go. So let's see what's going on inside this little guy right here. It looks like a normal jack o lantern right? So if you look inside, what I've got here are, I like to use two candles, but that's just me. But you'll notice that there's a little bowl in the back, back there. All right, and in that bowl is the lycopodium powder. All right, and then you'll see a hose coming out the back. And then that just goes to a little squirt bottle. So I squirt that, squirt, squirt. And that'll blow the air into there. And that'll blow the powder up into the air. And then hopefully it'll interact with the candles. This is a fun demo, but it gets into a more serious idea of dust explosions. You might have heard of grain silo explosions, where the idea that some kind of grain gets up in the air and then ignites. Well, it's the same sort of thing. Encapsulated in this pumpkin are the five things needed for a dust explosion. Obviously, we need a source of fuel. We need oxygen, right? We need an ignition source. We have all that inside there. But you also need dispersion of the flammable dust, and you need some kind of confinement so that the concentration can build up. We've got all of that. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I think the take home point of this is don't get too cocky around your chemicals. You might know how they act in a certain situation, but you know, under a different circumstance, they could act very differently. So be cautious. Stay safe. Yeah! <laughs> Still works. Hey, thanks for watching the channel. If you like what you see here and you want me to produce more content like this, just subscribe. And then I'll do more stuff like this. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy Halloween. Do you want to hear a scary story? I call it, I'm not even looking at the camera. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Do you want to hear a scary story? I call this one the dispersion and confinement. Of <laughs> I mean, look at this knife. Come on. This is, this is like straight out of a horror film. This is... And it's not even sharp. So it's more of a danger to me than anybody else. <laughs>